What's up guys, this is Sean Heather and in this video we are going to do a gaming performance test of Oppo A96 by playing few of the most high end heavy graphics games on the highest possible graphics setting. We will also monitor whether we are going to face any heating issue or not and how is the battery performance of the device going to be while playing all of these games. So here we go. So these are the games we got today here on our Oppo A96. For this testing purpose, we will use the high performance mode to get the best performance out of the device and we will also use the pro gamer mode in the game space. Right now the battery percentage is 100, CPU temperature is 30 degrees Celsius and battery temperature is 29 degrees Celsius. And we have also selected the 90 Hz refresh rate mode to play all of these games. So first of all, let's start with Injustice 2. So this is the maximum volume we got here on our Oppo A96, it's pretty loud so I'm gonna reduce it a bit and now let's play the game. So as you can see graphics quality is really nice. And we are getting around 55 FPS, 56, so you can see that we are getting around 60 FPS, between 50 and 60 most of the time, so gameplay will be quite smooth. not reaching up to 90 hertz as we have selected. So there is no frame drop, no lagging, everything seems quite smooth. We are getting around 50 to 60 fps most of the time and the graphics quality is pretty nice as well. Once again let's have a look on the FPS then we are getting here around 55 it was on 40 FPS 45 so it's fluctuating for sure as we can see now it's going a bit low around 40 FPS sometimes So the gameplay was pretty smooth as you can see that we were getting around 40 to 60 fps fluctuating between these two numbers most of the time it was around 55 the graphics quality was good and gameplay was pretty smooth no frame drops no lagging let's close injustice 2 let's have a look on the battery status so cpu temperature is at 38 battery temperature is 34 and the battery percentage is 99 and now let's play the next game and that's call of duty mobile so here in the graphics setting of Call of Duty Mobile by default is medium is selected for the graphics quality and frame rate. I can go to high, I can go to very high as well but on very high graphics quality high frame rate is not available. It is available on low, it is not even available on medium graphics. So the best combo I can have it is of very high graphics quality and medium frame rate and if I go to high then I will have to select the low graphics quality as you can see here. So I'm going to select the very high graphics quality and medium frame rate and now let's play the game. Sniper! So the graphics quality is looking really good if you have a look on the gun here, the scope and everything, lots of detail we are getting and it's quite smooth as well. Get down! Sniper! As you can see, it's pretty smooth. And we are getting 32 FPS, 51 FPS. Enemy contact. Capture the objective. 
objectives. Enemy taking Charlie. Enemy has Charlie. Capturing Alpha. So you can see we are getting Enemy taking Alpha. 42 FPS, 52 FPS, it's varying. Enemy has B. 48 FPS. Lost the lead. 60 FPS. So you will get in between all of these. The graphic quality is quite nice as we are playing this game on very high graphic quality. Everything seems nice and smooth here, as you can see. Let's go, let's go. Capture losing problems, Charlie. It's up team. Enemy UAV spotted. Sentry gun deployed. Enemy inside. Enemy UAV spotted. Capturing C. Contact with enemy. There is no frame drop or lagging is happening so far. It's pretty smooth. Graphics quality is good and we are getting around 60 FPS now and then. So everything was nice and smooth as you can see while playing Call of Duty Mobile on Oppo A96. So I'm gonna just leave it here. Let's close it. Let's have a look on the battery status now. And as you can see, CPU temperature is 50 degrees Celsius. Battery is at 38 degrees Celsius. And the battery percentage is 97. Now it's time for the next game and that's Asphalt 9. So here in the graphics setting of Asphalt 9, you can see we have selected the high graphics quality and the 60 FPS mode is not available at all because of the hardware we got on this device, even though the screen, the display is capable of running up to 90 FPS for these games. So now let's play Asphalt 9 and let's see how good it's going to be. So the graphics quality is quite nice, but the gameplay is not smooth as you can see here. There is no frame drop or lagging, but it's just not smooth like a 60 FPS game or something. And as you can see, I cannot show you how much FPS we are getting because the moment I bring the widget on the screen, the game will be paused. As you can see here. But considering the graphic quality we are getting, it's easy to assume that we are not getting more than 30 FPS here in any case.
there was a bit lag so my car collided with another one So the graphics quality was good, gameplay was not great, we were not getting more than 30 fps in any case because the 60 fps mode is not available, the game was still playable and the graphic quality was quite good. So let's go back from here, let's close it, let's have a look on the battery status. So the battery percentage is now at 96, CPU temperature is 42 and the battery temperature is 38 degrees celsius. Now it's time to play the next game and that's Altos DC. So you can see that the graphics quality is really good and the gameplay seems quite smooth here as well. We are getting around 60 fps as you can see, let me play it a bit more. So we are getting 49 fps, 60 fps as well, but it is not going as high as 90 fps. Altos ODC can support up to 120 fps easily. But our device is not capable enough for that and we are getting around 60 fps max while playing Alto ODC on Oppo A96 but the graphics quality is good and gameplay is pretty smooth as well. And here we go. So I'm just going to leave it here because you can see the performance of the device is good enough to play Alto ODC up to 60 fps here. And now it's time to play the last game and that's PUBG Mobile. So here in the graphics setting of PUBG Mobile you can see by default smooth is selected for the graphics and medium frame rate. I can select high frame rate on smooth graphics. If I go to balance the maximum possible frame rate is medium. So I'm going to select the combination of smooth and high and let's see how much FPS we are going to get in PUBG Mobile. So luck, as you mate. can see that the graphics quality is not that great. It's pretty basic because we are playing on the smooth graphics quality. That's the lowest possible graphics for PUBG Mobile here. And it's not very smooth as well.
so you can see that we are getting around 25 fps while playing pubg mobile on smooth graphics and the high frame rate as expected the graphics quality is not good but the gameplay is still okay considering we are getting 25 fps it's, it's not good for sure but this is what you are going to get because if you select better graphics quality it will be even lower than this we are not going above 25 fps in any case as you can see it's mostly 25 fps here So not much action is happening where I have landed but if you are a PUBG player you should be getting the idea about the gaming capability of the device you will get around 25 fps on the smooth graphics setting it's not getting better than that in any case as you can see here 26 fps a bit improvement for sure So I'm just going to leave it here and now let's have a look on the battery status. So the CPU temperature is 43 degrees Celsius, battery temperature is 37 degrees Celsius and the battery percentage is 94. So the battery performance is quite nice and even though the CPU temperature is 42, once it reached 50 as well, the device is pretty much at the same temperature from which we have started. If I touch the back panel, it's not warm at all and the battery performance seems pretty nice as well after playing all of these games for like 25 minutes the battery percentage moved from 100 to 94 only so that's all for now friends thanks for watching this video if you found it useful then give it a thumbs up share it with your friends subscribe the channel and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notification for future uploads and i will see you guys next time in an another video have a nice day